Welcome everyone to our first day of elementary, early elementary virtual Excel camp. And this week is outdoor adventure. We are so glad to have so many of you joining us today. Welcome to the early elementary virtual Excel camp. First time ever for the American Princeton House for the Blind. And this week is outdoor adventure. We are sure many of you are using moms and dads to help you and that is okay. You are welcome to borrow them to type in the chat and tell us who you are and where you're from. We would love to say hi all of those adults in the background because we have teachers of the visually impaired and other professionals who want to learn and enjoy camp as well they need to stay in the background this is for kids so i'm going to say welcome again to the early elementary virtual excel camp this first week is outdoor adventure welcome penelope welcome sophia so glad to have you with us today Welcome Tyler, welcome Jackson, we're so glad you're with us. Great to see Maya and Layla. Hi Maddox and Giselle, glad to have you with us today. Welcome Addison, nice to see you. We love having all our friends from around the United States and sometimes the world. Welcome Alicia, glad to have you glad with to us. One of my guests today I think had their speaker on. So I want to tell you about who is with us. We have two instructors with us. Your instructors for early elementary are Leslie McNeil and Jessica Kaminsky. Both of them are teachers of students with visual impairments. Leslie worked at the Georgia Academy for the Blind as a teacher of the visually impaired and while there she was a camp instructor for summer camps and weekend camps. She also taught in the after school program for enrichment activities for students and currently she is one of those teachers of the students with visual impairments for Columbia County School District. Say hi to us Leslie. Hi guys we're so happy that you're here. Our other instructor is Jessica, and she is one of the teachers of students with visual impairments for the Columbia County School District, Georgia, as well. During her 13 years of teaching, she has worked by providing extended school year services or as an instructor for Camp All-Stars for children with special needs. Say hi, Jessica. Hey, everybody. And we have another special guest. Her name is Anna Heath Labara. She is a professional right now, but she's also studying to be a teacher of students with visual impairments and she's joining and helping Leslie and Jessica. Say hi, Anna Heat. Hello, everybody, and um, it's great to be here and I'm just very, very excited and um, looking forward to the week. I also want to say hi to Ingrid and hi to Ranger. We're so glad our students are here to join us today. And now I am going to say, take it away, Jessica and Leslie, it's all yours. Well, hi everyone, I'm Leslie McNeil and I'm coming to you from my indoor camp or indoor fort or tent, whatever you would like to call it. Jessica? And I'm Jessica Kaminsky and I'm here from my house and um, you'll see the musical guest there is my daughter and she'll be performing a song for us later. And we also have our student teacher Miss? Hello. Hello, this is Anihid Labar, and um, I just wanted to welcome everyone again, and um, just really looking forward to this camping. So let's go camping and talk about our schedule for today. So the first thing after talking about our schedule is that we're going to learn our camp song, and then we're going to take a small break, and then we're going to have a CVI friendly story about camping. And then we're going to have another break and then we will read a camping spree with Mr. McGee. Not sure if you've ever heard that story before or not, but it's a really cool story about camping. Then we'll have another break and then we will talk about building a fort. And then we will close up by singing our campfire song and 
answering any questions you may have. Ms. Jessica? So, first we're gonna do our campfire song and I'm gonna let y'all listen to the song first. And after we listen to the song, then we're gonna talk about some of the movements. We're gonna listen for words like look around. When we hear that, we're gonna put our hands over our eyes and look around. When we get to the oak tree, we'll be climbing up the oak tree. When we get to the swamp, we'll be taking big steps to trudge the swamp. When we get to the lake, we're gonna to have to swim through it. And then when we get to the cave, we're going to crawl. And last but not least, we're gonna to have to run from a bear. So can you do me a favor and describe those motions we're doing? So the first one, we look around, we're gonna take our hand and we're gonna place it right above our eyes and we're gonna turn our head from side to side. For the oak tree, when we're climbing, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna put them in fists and we're gonna go on top of each fist. So hand over hand. Then for our swamp, the big steps when we trudge in place, we're gonna be lifting our knees high up into our stomachs when we walk. And then when we swim, we're gonna be putting our arms over our heads one at a time to pretend we're swimming. And to crawl, we don't really have to get on our hands and knees, but if you want to, you're more than welcome to. But we're gonna creep along the floor like we're crawling on all fours. And then when we get to run, we're gonna run in place. That means we're not gonna run around in circles, but you're welcome to. We're just gonna stand in one place and move our legs as fast as we can like we're running. So I'm gonna play the song for you now. Nadaros, if you have a question, can you write it in the chat for us and we'll be happy to answer it. Okay, Leslie, I cannot share it while you're sharing. I sorry, I see this. Let me um, quit sharing. And as we get going, I'm going to let you know, this is the first time for most of us doing a virtual camp. So we're all learning a little bit and we'll be much better tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> it was hiding the stop share. Sorry. Jessica, are you working on sharing? She looks like she's concentrating really hard. The name of our song is Going on a Bear Hunt. I was waiting for the computer to like the uh, song. Well, while she's doing that, Alicia, I'm going to turn on your mic. What is your question? You can hold the space bar down to ask it. Are we ready? Go ahead, Alicia. What's your question? We just wanted to see everybody who was, who was online. Okay. She wanted to see everyone who was online. Okay, you do have the ability to change your view. Okay. You should have view options to, to be able to change your view. And I will work to make sure everybody gets seen. Okay, we're gonna hear the camp song now. Okay, thank you. We're going on a bear hunt and what do we see? But a great big oak tree right by me. It's so big we cannot go around it. Can we go over it? No. Can we go under it? Uh-uh. Looks like we're gonna have to climb. Hand over hand, foot over foot. Higher and higher, right to the top. Look around, do you see any bears? No. Going on a bear hunt, what do we see? But a great big swamp right in front of me. It's so wide we cannot go around it. Can we 
go over it? No. Can we go under it? Uh-uh. Looks like we're gonna have to trudge. Step by step, trudge, trudge, trudge. In between the toes, I can feel the mud. Look around, do you see any bears? No. We're going on a bear hunt. What do we see? But a great big lake right in front of me. It's so wide we cannot go around it. Can we go over it? Uh-uh. Can we go under it? No way. Looks like we're gonna have to swim. Swim, swim, swim. Splash, splash, splash. Stroke, stroke, stroke. We're swimming fast. Look around, do you see any bears? No. Swim, swim, swim. Splash, splash, splash. Make it through the lake now. Dry up really fast. Look around, do you see any bears? No. We're going on a bear hunt. What do we see? But a great big cave right in front of me. I heard the bears are asleep this time of day. If you want to go in, we'll have to be really quiet, okay? Shh, wait a minute. Crawling in the cave. Creep, creep, creep. Crawling in the cave. I hope the bear's asleep. Look around. Do you see any bears? No. Wait a minute. I see eyes. Big yellow eyes. They're not yours, not mine. They belong to the bear. Ah! Running from the bear cave, not to be seen, but the great big lake right in front of me. Looks like we're gonna have to swim. Swim, 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 splash, splash, splash. Made it through the lake now. Dry up really fast. Look around. Do you see any bears? No. So running from the bear cave, and what do we see? But the great big swamp right in front of me. Looks like we're gonna have to trudge. Step, 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 trudge, trudge, trudge. We made it through the swamp, now shake up all the mud. Look around, do you see any bears? No! So running through the bear cave, and what do we see? But a great big oak tree right in front of me. Looks like we're gonna have to climb. Hand over hand, up, up, up. Down, 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 right to the ground. Look around, do you see any bears? No! Finally made it back, but I'm feeling kind of funny. We were being chased by an itty bitty bunny. Looks like we went to the wrong cave. We'll see you on a bear hunt another day. So was everybody able to hear our song okay? If you were able to hear the song, put a Y in the chat. Ooh, Giselle did, and Ranger, Maddox heard it, Kinsey, Lillian, Aubrey, Addison, Ira, Felice, Ingrid, Layla, Sydney, Aubrey. Wow, we had lots of good listeners. Awesome. We are actually, this is going to be our song we will sing each day before we leave. Um, it is going to be our camp theme song because since we're going camping, you always have to go on a bear hunt. Leslie? Oh, let me put the, do you want me to put the movements back up? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Got them going. Ah, there we are. There's our movements. So once again, what are we listening for? We're listening for a look around. So when we hear a look around, we want to put our hand above our eyes and look left to right to see if we're looking for any bears. All right. And then when we come to the oak tree, remember, we have to pretend to climb. So you pretend to climb by putting one hand over the other, or one fist over the other. Or if you'd like, you can Walk like you're walking up the stairs or climbing a ladder. And then when we get to the swamp, remember, we're taking big steps to get through that muddy swamp. And then when we get to the lake, oh no, remember we have to swim. Arms up, one at, one at a time over your head, swimming to get across that lake. And then lastly, when we get to the cave, remember we have to number one, be quiet. And number two, we have to crawl. So we have to get kind of low and crawl our way through. 
Oh, and then when it comes time, we have to run. So when we hear the run, run, hear the word run, we need to run as fast as we can to get away. All right, Jessica, we've reviewed those. Can we do the song again with all the movements? Are you guys we ready? Can. can we have yeses and or whys in chats to know that we're all ready to do our, our camp song with all the movements? Ranger is ready. Jackson is ready. Nahi is ready. Ira, Naomi, Helena, Kinsey, Sydney, they're ready. All right, Miss Jessica, we're ready for you. We're going on a bear hunt, and what do we see? But a great big oak tree right in front of me. It's so big, we cannot go around it. Remember, we have to climb. No, can't go under it. Uh-uh. Looks like we're gonna have to climb. Hand over hand, foot over foot. Higher and higher, right to the top. Look around, do you see any bears? No. Put your hand above your eyes and look around. What do you see? Got a great big swamp right in front of me. It's so wide, we cannot go around it. In the swamp, we're going to take big steps in place. No. Can we go under it? Uh-uh. Oh. Looks like we're going to have to trudge. Step by step, trudge or trudge. In between the toes, I can feel the mud. Look around, do you see any bears? Look around. No. We're going on a bear hunt. What do we see? But a great big lake right in front of me. It's We're so at the lake. We need to pretend to swim. Can we go over it? Uh-uh. Can we go under it? No way. Looks like we're gonna have to swim. Swim, swim, swim. Splash, splash, splash. Stroke, stroke, stroke. We're swimming fast. Look around. Do you see any bears? No. Swim, swim, swim. Splash, splash, splash. Make it through the lake now. Dry up really fast. Look around. Do you see any bears? No. We're going on a bear hunt. What do we see? But a great big cave right in front of me. I heard the bears are asleep this time of day. Remember, we're going to crawl. Shh, wait a minute. Crawling in the cave. Creep, creep, creep. Crawling in the cave. I hope the bear is asleep. Look around. Do you see any bears? No. Wait a minute. I see eyes. Big yellow eyes are not yours, not mine. They belong to the bear. Running from the bear cave, not to see, but the great big lake right in front of me. Looks like we're gonna have to swim. Swim, 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 splash, splash, splash. Made it through the lake now, dry off really fast. Look around, do you see any bears? No! So running from the bear cave, and what do we see? But the great big swamp right in front of me. Looks like we're gonna have to trudge. Step, 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 trudge, trudge, trudge. We made it through the swamp, now shake up all the mud. Look around, do you see any bears? No! So running through the bear cave, what do we see? But a great big oak tree right in front of me. Looks like we're gonna have to climb. Hand over hand, up, up, up. Down, 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 right to the ground. Look around, do you see any bears? No! Finally made it back, but I'm feeling kind of funny. We were being chased by an itty bitty bunny. Looks like we went to the wrong cave. We'll see you on a bear hunt another day. While they're getting set up, I see another question. Alicia, you can hold your space bar down. She doesn't have a question. Okay, no problem. Are there any other questions that we can answer? 
you can raise your hand or you can type in the chat. Cynthia. Okay, Cynthia, you can hold your space bar down. Go ahead, Cynthia, ask. Can you hear us? Why? We can hear you. Why can't, why can't you go near a bear? Why can't you go near a bear, Jessica, Leslie, Anna Heat? Why can't you go near a bear? Hi, Jessica. Well, you can't go near a bear because bears are wild animals. Whoa. But your teddy bear is completely safe to go around. Mm -hmm. Any questions, Christina? Yes. You have a question? Why? Can't you go in a jungle? <laughs> okay, why can't you go in a jungle? We yeah. could go in a jungle. We could go in a jungle adventure, but we would have to be careful and make sure we took our backpacks full of supplies that we may need and remember not to touch things and, and not to touch animals that we don't know about. Okay. I know elephants. <laughs> Elephants are very cool. Okay, I'm going to let Marone ask their question. To let you talk, I have to move you over to panelist for a moment, Marone. Can you turn on your mic? Yes. Okay, oh, what's your you question? Go. What's your question? Um, why can we not stay in the lake? Why can't we stay in the lake? Yeah. Okay. Well, Marone, do you know how to swim? Um, yeah. You do? Well, I bet if we would have had a boat, we could have probably stayed in the lake a little longer. But yeah, but since... I feel like swimming in the lake without any boats. <laughs> okay. Well, we can't swim forever, so we had to swim through it and, and get out. We couldn't stay for very long. Plus, remember, we thought that we were going to go find bears. And then, oh, then, when, we, then when we found something in the cave, we, we thought it was a bear. So then we were running away, kind of scared of the bear, right? So then we were in a hurry. Bears usually stay in a zoo. <laughs> That bear. is one place to find a bear is in the zoo. You're right. Okay, we're going to put you back as a participant and we'll let Leslie and Jessica take us somewhere else. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, we're going to um, go into a small break and Miss Anna Heat's going to lead us in that break. Okay, great. Well, um, I hope everybody's enjoying their time. So what we want to ask about is, you know, the activity that you guys had on making ice cream. Now, I love ice cream and I love all different kinds. So I first of all would love to find out and if you can type your answer um, and then we'll read it, uh, you know, uh, read different answers or if you have a question, you can type that as well. Hopefully it worked for you when you were making the ice cream. What I want to know first, the first question would be, did it work? Were you able to make it and did you enjoy it? And then we'll, I will ask another question. So if you don't mind typing it in the chat box, please, that would be great. So either yes, it worked or nope, didn't work. I tried it, but didn't work. Um, That's right. Madison, I'm going to allow you to talk. You can hold down your mic. Did you make the ice cream? Jackson did. It worked and they made chocolate. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Madison, did you figure out your mic? Don't even. There, go for it. I hear you. Um, where, um, no, my, my mom made it. Your mom made the ice cream. Do you remember what flavor she made? It was, what was the flavor again? Vanilla. Vanilla. You're not helping. Oof, Maddie's <laughs> trying to push me. 
Okay, so they made ice cream. Um, Anahita, I also see that some some people did, but it was runny a bit. Um, mm. Draven doesn't like ice cream. Giselle made oh. chocolate ice cream, and Alicia made vanilla. Mm. Vanilla is my favorite. I love vanilla ice cream. It is the best. And sometimes, you know, you have to mix it just enough um, to make sure that there's enough cold, you know, between that ice and salt um, that the ice cream gets a little bit firmer. So maybe you can try it one more time. I'm sorry if it was a little runny. Try it again because we can never have enough ice cream. <laughs> mm -mm. So I also would love to find out not about this particular ice cream, but what is your fla favorite flavor? most of all of ice cream. I know some people don't like it, but if you do, what is your most favorite flavor? Okay, you can type it into the chat and I will read them, but Cynthia is going to tell us her favorite ice cream. Cynthia, what was your favorite ice cream? Oh, you can... I, so my favorite flavor ice cream is my mom and, and, and I make vanilla ice cream. Well, mm -hmm. me and Daddy make it on, on 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 the weekends because because ice cream is is good on a hot day. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. So we also have Jackson has likes vanilla and chocolate. And Isaac likes chocolate. Tyler likes chocolate. Ira is vanilla. Maddox likes chocolate. Uh, Naomi likes birthday cake ice cream. That's different. Ranger likes chocolate. Emily likes chocolate. Helena is vanilla. Sydney likes strawberry. Giselle is vanilla. Trent is chocolate. Sharon is chocolate. Cynthia is, oh, I lost it. It jumped too fast. Sorry about that, Cynthia. Madison likes strawberry. Kinsey says we make nice cream, ice cream made from almond milk and bananas. Sounds Ooh. wonderful. Does. Well, great. Do we have um, time for another question? I think we're ready to move on. What do you think, oh. Leslie and Jessica? Yes, okay. I think, Jessica, are you ready? I am ready. ready. All right, so let's look at what's next. And what is next is our CVI friendly story. So I'm going to stop sharing and let Miss Jessica take over. So for those of you kids out there who are looking for some great CVI stories, they actually have one published on YouTube, a whole bunch of CVI friendly stories. And the one I found was called, We're Going on a Bear Hunt. And I thought it was perfect. On this one, you're, we're not going through a swamp. We're going to go through some different other uh, places. And it describes how they feel. So like the way the grass feels on your feet or the way the mud feels on your feet. If you've ever walked around barefoot, I love squishing mud between my toes. This one, I'm not sure I can screen share, so I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, so like I can't move this. Woo! Some technical difficulties. Hold on one second. Oh, I cannot get my camera to flip. Can you share the link in YouTube? <clears throat> Let's see.
we are supposed to be hearing sound. We are not hearing sound, but we're seeing green grass wiggling. Let's see why we're not hearing sound. Could be that you're going to get feedback because it will not pick up speaker sound or it's not supposed to, or we would get feedback. Yes, ma'am. Well, then I guess I will have to tell you what we're going to. Yes, and you'll have to turn off the sound because we are getting the feedback right now. All right. So while we're waiting for you to get that set up, Anna, do you want to ask another question while we're waiting? Yes, please. <laughs> well, so, I, I, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I realized I was yeah. muted. I was talking I was to you guys. To you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, how about uh, Jessica, why don't you unshare with us and why don't we move ahead to the next story and that way you can work on that while we move to the next story. Or we might just have to do it next time. That'd be fun as well. I have a backup story about camping already ready to go. And Jessica, you have to mute one of your sounds. You have to. Sorry guys for the technical difficulties. Here we are. We have The Camping Trip, written by Lily Jones, and we've gotten this from education.com. So it shows on the screen a family, a mom, a dad, a brother and a sister climbing a hill with uh, the mother and father have on book bags, so they're going on a hike, it looks like. So in the first, this first page, the mom and dad and brother and sister are all loading the car. They have the back open of the car where the trunk is, and each of them has something in their hands. The dad has a box, and it looks like a thermos. The mom has a basket of food. And on the ground, there's a cooler, and it looks to be either a tent or a sleeping bag. And the little girl has a stuffed bunny and a basket, and the boy has a flashlight and a net, either for catching Emily insects. Is, my family is going fish. camping. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm so excited, but I'm not sure what it will be like. I've never been camping before. Sorry about that, Jessica. On the next page, the car is all loaded up and the mom and dad are sitting in the front seat with the son and the daughter in the back and they are driving on a dirt road in what looks to be like a forest. We pack up our car to drive to the campsite. It's a long car ride. I look out the windows as we drive. So in the next picture, now they're unloading the car mom and dad are carrying a big box a little girl has the sleeping bag in her hand and the little boy has a cooler we arrive at the campsite we have to unload all of our things and bring them to our camp the picture shows mom and dad setting up the tent and they are putting a large sheet like covering over it it's to help protect the tent from the rain. When we get to our campsite, my mom and dad set up the tent. It is really big. We'll all sleep inside together. The brother and sister in this picture, they are on a trail, looks like a dirt trail, surrounded by trees, and they are picking up sticks. My brother and I look around the campsite. We see lots of rocks and sticks. There are big trees everywhere. In the next picture, the family, the mom and the dad and the brother and the sister are all looking at a stream or a river in the woods and the mom and dad have on backpacks. We hear water. Our parents come with us to walk down the hill. We find a rushing river. So mom, dad, brother, and sister are all 
sitting. Well, three of them are sitting. One of them is standing with their feet in the water and it looks like they're stopping to have a break. We put our feet in the water. The ground is rocky. The water feels really cold. In this picture, mom and dad and brother and sister are running up a very big hill. After stopping at the river, we go on a hike. We walk a long way to get to the top of the mountain. Now the family is sitting on the ground on top of a big hill and it looks like the brother might be eating a snack. All the hiking is tiring. We stop and take a rest when we get to the top of the hill. The dad is showing a little girl the flower and she's looking very closely at it while the mom and the brother are running in the background of the hill. Walking down the hill is easier. We stop and look at all the flowers as we hike. They are really beautiful. Brother and sister are sitting in the tent and they are playing cards. When we get back to the campsite, my brother and I play cards in the tent. It's fun to be in the tent. Next, the whole family is sitting around the campfire. They have long sticks with hot dogs on the end. After playing cards, it's time for dinner. We make hot dogs and baked beans. I'm hungry. They're sit still sitting around the campfire now, but instead of hot dogs, they have marshmallows in, on the end of their sticks and they're holding them over the fire. After dinner, we roast marshmallows. We use sticks to roast them over the fire until they get gooey and toasted. Now everyone's sitting by the fire. The brother and the mother and the sister are all listening very closely and it looks like the dad is talking. As we eat our marshmallows, we take turns telling stories around the campfire. My dad tells the best stories. Now, the mom, dad, brother, and sister are sitting on the ground and it is nighttime and they can see all the stars in the sky. Camping is so much fun. I love to go on camping trips with my family. The end. And you have Lily with her hand raised. Lily, what would you like to add? You can hold down your space bar. That usually works. Give you one more chance. There you go. Um, teacher. What's your name? What's what's your name? Well, my, my name is Leanne, and your instructors are Leslie McNeil and Jessica Kaminsky. And Honey Heat. That's what you needed, Lily? <laughs> Look at this. This is R2D2. <laughs> Oh, well, thank I love you for sharing. I love R2-D2. He's cute. <laughs> Building Emperor's Robots and giving people oil baths. Oh. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Thank you, Lily. And now I will ask Madison what her question is. How can you see the camper? Say it one more time. How, how can you see the campers? How, how can, can you see the campers? Or feed? She, she wants mm -hmm. to know how to see the other students. 
Ah, so I have made it so that we do not have that permission. If somebody chooses to want to, we could turn that on. But at the moment, we have not turned that on um, purposefully because some parents don't want their kids shown. Okay. That makes it a little different camp when it's virtual. Thank, thank you. Sure. All right. Well, we have reached our second break at camp. And at this point, I think it's Jessica's turn to ask questions. It is my turn. And on this one, I have been camping with my family. And if you can see the picture, there's a picture of my daughter. And her favorite activity is to fish while we're camping. Do y'all have some favorite activities that y'all like to do when you're camping? So you can ask mom or dad to write it in the chat for you, or you can write it in the chat, or you can raise your hand. Cynthia has raised her hand. Me, Christina. Okay, go ahead. Say it's me, Christina. Say Christina. Christina. Okay, Christina, go for it. I like eating hot dogs. I think I saw another camper liked eating hot dogs too. Maddox said liked eating hot dogs. What about you, Cynthia? Do you want to share? I like eating um, um, roasted hot dogs and, and, and toast and, and, mar and marshmallows. And marshmallows. How about you, Julia? Cracker and chocolate. Ooh, a s'more. Mm -hmm. I like um, eating hot dogs. I like eating roast hot dogs. And I like eating a roast marshmallow with, with crackers and um, a chocolate. Mmm. A s'more too. Very good. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. Maddox liked hot dogs. Now he liked horseback riding. Tyler was playing in a tent and eating s'mores. Calvin likes fishing and making a campfire. Ranger likes fishing and building sand castles. Ooh, fun. Naomi singing songs. Madison riding bikes. Lillian likes that too. Isaac likes making s'mores, so does Maddox. Giselle singing songs. Ira sleeping in a tent. Trent swimming. Oh, Donovan is another toasting marshmallows person. Cynthia likes to play her guitar and Christina likes to cook and dance. And Layla is another roasting s'mores, roasting marshmallows and s'mores. Julia likes fishing. One more, Jackson. Jackson, what do you like doing? I like swimming in the lake and like fishing and everything. I usually don't get fish. <laughs> Oh, you don't catch the fish? <laughs> and sometimes they don't come. <laughs> You're right. Sometimes they don't come. Or we have some that like to nibble on the bait and, and eat my worms and swim away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Smart fish. They get the food and run away. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Draven? Draven, what do you like to do? No. <laughs> Draven, we can hear you. What do you like to do camping? Yeah, my name is Draven. Draven, thank you. Draven, what do you like to do camping? I like to throw rocks. <laughs> you like to throw rocks. Okay, my son would probably join you. <laughs> Thank you. Cynthia said so Julia likes to fish and Helena finding plants and likes finding bugs. Ooh, we have a day on bugs. And one more hand raised. I see Lily with your hand raised. What do you like to do? You can try holding the space bar down. And 
more patient as everyone learns this technology. There you go, Lily. What do you like doing? Um, I like to eat chocolate C three POB bliss ice cream. <laughs> Yum. Very cool. Do you guys ready for more? Or are you ready to go on? Ready to move on, guys. We are next up is our story, a camping spree with Mr. McGee. Start at slide one. All right. So here we are, a camping spree with Mr. McGee. And in our first picture, or the cover of the book, is a camper that's also known as a rambler. And you will see Mr. McGee and his little dog, D hanging out the window of the camper. And there in the very front is a trailer hitch. It's a round uh, piece with a long metal piece that goes out into a Y that connects to the camper so that it can be hooked to a car so that it can be carried around or uh, taken wherever you would like to go. A Camping Spree with Mr. McGee by Chris Van Dussen. And our first picture here of Mr. McGee and his little dog D, they're at home, the garage door is open, the rambler or camper is hooked to the car. And Mr. McGee is packing up the camper for the camping trip. He's holding a cooler and a basket and it looks to be like something that holds water for drinking. And in the background, he had his house overlooks a town and water and the sun is kind of going down or coming up, not sure. Early one morning at 7.03, Mr. McGee and his little dog D packed up the camper and hitched up the load, hopped in the rambler and then hit the road. They drove to the mountains far from the sea, two nights of camping or possibly three. In this next picture, we see Mr. McGee and his little dog D driving in the car with a rambler attached to the back. And it looks like they're driving up a hill and now the sun is up higher in the sky. So it must be about midday or morning time. There's nothing like camping, said Mr. McGee. McGee, I know you'll love it. Just wait and see. The views are fantastic. There's hardly a sound. Aside from the wildlife, there's no one around. And the air is so sweet, you'll sleep like a log, said Mr. McGee to his small spotted dog. In our next picture, it shows uh, Mr. McGee and his little dog Dee sitting around a little campfire. Looks to be like they have marshmallows on the ends of sticks over the campfire. The car and the rambler are sitting on their little campsite and is overlooking a brook or what you would call a stream. And in the distance, you see mountains and the sun looks like it's going down. A few hours later, they took a sharp right and found a great spot to lay camp for the night. It was high on a hill with a beautiful view of Mount Adams, Mount Lincoln and Jefferson too. But perhaps the most wonderful feature of all was the brook that ran over a steep waterfall. Dee gathered pine cones and branches and logs. McGee made a campfire and cooked some hot dogs. And as the sun set behind far distant knolls, they sat roasting marshmallows over the coals. In this next scene, we see Mr. McGee and his little dog Dee asleep in the and the rambler or the camper. And the camper is attached to, or trailer hitch to a car. And a bear is in the scene. And we see a bag of marshmallows and sticks still left out by the campfire. And the moon is out. As the embers went out, they felt tired and dozy. So they climbed in their bunk beds, all comfy and cozy. 
But while they were falling asleep without care, along came a stumbling, bumbling bear. A kindly old bear whose sight wasn't so clear. He couldn't see far and he couldn't see near, but he could smell the marshmallows sticky and sweet. The smell made him hungry. He wanted a treat. In this next picture, we see the bear climbing underneath the hitch that holds the camper to the car. And we see the camper and the car, the bag of marshmallows and the sticks. He sniffed out the place where the marshmallows lay, but the car and the camper were in the bear's way. Yet that didn't stop the sneaky old snitch. He simply tried squeezing right under the hitch. And he was, and, and as he was shimmying into the gap, he pushed up the hitch, which let go with a snap. In this next scene, we see the rambler or the camper flying down a hill from where they were camping. And the bear's up there eating the marshmallows. And they're getting now, closer to the river, sorry. Now that camper and car were untied. They started to roll down the rocky hillside. The car bounced away on the old logging road while the camper was headed to where the stream flowed. It flew down the hill in a wild bumpy ride with Dee and McGee sleeping soundly inside. In the next scene, we see the camper smashing into the water. They were snoring and snoozing, enjoying a dream, when splash went the camper right into the stream. Now we see the camper floating in the water with Mr. McGee and his little dog Dee looking out the window and they see the waterfall and a rock. The splash shook the camper. They bumped out of bed. Now what in the world was that? McGee said. And when he looked out and saw where they were, his hair stood on end and so did Dee's fur. They were caught in the rapids, but that wasn't all. They were headed smack dab for the big waterfall. Dee and McGee both started to quiver as faster and faster they headed down river. But just when they thought they'd fall over the edge. In this scene, we see that the camper has been stopped by the big rock. And Mr. McGee and Little Dog D, they're looking down the big high waterfall. Their camper got stuck on a rock at the ledge. So there they were stranded, McGee and his pup on top of the waterfall. 50 feet up. In this scene, we see Mr. McGee and little dog D still in the camper, stuck on the rock. But we see the bear come into the picture and we see the hitch. The hitch in this picture, the hitch, the ball of it, where it attaches to the car, it looks like a watermelon. Or not a watermelon, excuse me, a marshmallow. Oh, is that kind of like the marshmallow tips that we have on the canes? It sure does look like the marshmallow tip of a cane. I bet that bear would try to eat that too. <laughs> Meanwhile, that nearsighted bear from before was searching for one little marshmallow more. When lo and behold, as a, out of a dream, he spied something sweet floating over the stream. But what the bear thought was a marshmallow treat was really the hitch and not something to eat. This next picture we see the bear coming out or coming off the side of the river and he's walking in the river and the camper and, Mr. and the dog, Mr. McGee, they are sitting in the camper looking and watching this bear come out towards the camper. The bear was determined to capture his prize so he jumped in the water right up to his thighs. He splashed through the stream to the edge of the fall and snatched up the trailer hitch, camper and all. 
Well, in this next scene, we see that we see the inside of the camper where Mr. McGee and little dog D are sitting and they are looking out the window, watching the bear with the, bo the ball of the hitch in the bear's mouth. D felt a tug. McGee heard a knock as the bear pulled the camper right off the rock. He dragged them both the way back to the bank when he realized the hitch was not sweet, but quite rank. He spit out the hitch left in dismay, while McGee and Dee's camper again rolled away. It flew down the path with a jolt and a jar. Well, in this scene, we see that Mr. McGee and little dog Dee are back in the car with the camper attached or hitched up, and they are, looks to be like they're driving down the mountain. Looks like they might be going home. and stopped in some bushes right next to the car. Dee popped her head out. McGee looked out too. They had, had they really stopped rolling? Could it be true? At last things were quiet and peaceful and still. They hooked up the hitch and drove down the hill. And all the way home, on the way home, McGee said to Dee, that trip wasn't quite like I thought it would be. So when they got home with the sky turning red. Here they are in this scene. They have the camper, Mr. McGee and little dog D have a campfire in the backyard and they have marshmallows on a stick. They decided to camp in the backyard instead. I love to camp in my backyard. The end. So it looks like we're running a little low on time. So we are going to um, skip down to where we were going to talk about your extension activities for today, which is going to be building an indoor fort. I so did that. Any, yeah. I've been Leslie, one all day. I am so proud of you. Thank How did you. you build your fort? Well, I took a bed sheet from the... Um, from one of the beds actually out of the linen closet, but I stole one and I have a chair, a baby chair sitting up on top of my table and I put it over the top of the table so I could have room for my head. And then I put it on the back of my chair and it is so cool to be in this fort and be at camp today inside my own fort. I can't wait to see what everyone else builds. I like to sit and read in my fort. It's my quiet place. Has anyone else built a fort before? If you've built a fort, you can put a Y in the chat. Oh, Tyler has, Kinsey has, Helena, and Anne, and Ranger, Ruben, and Natalie, Layla, Jackson, wow. Alicia, Maddox, Giselle, Trent, Donovan, Draven, Ingrid, lots of them. I wonder if I'll get any pictures of people in tents. And I'm talking the homemade tents. Oh, I would love to see what everyone does in their homemade tent. Cynthia I bet has, some of you Isaac hasn't tent. yet. So maybe <gasps> Isaac will. I hope so, Isaac. This is Annie Heat, and I wanted to say when we were little, we would make um, forts. <clears throat> sorry, all the time, and we made it under our dining room table. Now, here is something, a little hint for you guys. If you make a fort under your dining room table, you can bring a lot of cozy stuff in, and you can put blankets or sheets around it, but you need to remember but that there is a dining room table over you, so don't stand up nice and tall, <laughs> because <laughs> I've done it a lot, and you learn pretty quickly not to do that. So just remember. Okay, Leslie and Jessica, any closing thoughts until we see them again tomorrow? Hmm. Well, I just hope that everybody had a good time and enjoyed themselves. And if they have any questions for us right now, we would love to answer them quickly. If you have anything, um, questions about making the Ford or if you needed more help 
with how to make the ice cream. If the ice cream didn't work out the first time, we will be glad to answer any of those questions for you. Madison, do you have a question? You can try holding the space bar down. That usually works. I can do it. I there can. you go. Yeah, do it, Mary. Yeah. I, I can do that. Okay, go ahead. I can do it. You did it. It's already done. Oh. Um, um, I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's okay. This is actually my very first camp. This is your very first camp. Wow. Yeah. This is actually very first one, I think. Maddie, I think I know who you are. Did you put edible cookie dough on your ice cream when you made it? Um, yeah. I might have. Was it good? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome to camp. I'm going to ask Maddox what Maddox's question is. Go ahead, Maddox. Uh, my question, how do you build a fort? That's an excellent question. Um, when they sent out the camp, they should have gotten instructions with that on how to do it, but um, you can do it several different ways. Really, you just need a sheet or a blanket. And I put two chairs back to back and I left a little space for me in between and I drape my sheets over the chairs so they lay across it and then it makes me a little place to hide. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Alicia? Ask your question. Usually building a fort is easy. Okay. So what else do I have? I usually do it with a blanket or maybe a little bit more than just one blanket. And I get some chairs and I put it around. And then I have a lots of space to put stuff in there. Like I put my stuffed animals sometimes. Oh, so you put lots of cozy stuff like your, do you put pillows on the floor too? Yes. Very cool, Alicia. Thank you for sharing. Ingrid? Ingrid, there you go. You should be able to speak now. I said, when you go camping, do you get scared? At night, sometimes I get scared because I hear all these different animals. And so sometimes it, it's scary. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ingrid. Giselle? Try, try holding your space bar down. There you go. Hello, I'm Giselle. I'm from Pakistan. Welcome. My question is, if we went to a camping trip and see a bear, we won't get scared until it jumps on us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I would get scared if I just saw it. I don't, I would be scared before it jumped on me. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Giselle. Uh, Cynthia? Okay. Um, why can you dance in a tent? Why can't you can dance you... in a tent? I can't dance can't. in a tent. You can. 
Well, it depends on how tall your tent is. There yeah, are tents and, that and are tall, tall enough where you could stand up and you could dance in those. But if you have a lot of stuff with you and you have all your family stuff in there, there may not be enough room to dance in the tent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It depends on how tall your tent is and how tall you are. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Thank you, oh, Cynthia. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm an Julia. Oh, it's Julia. Oh, there's... And now, and, and I'm, and I'm, and, and, and my sister's going to fort that, 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 that mommy makes, and, 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 and then, and there's enough room for me and my sisters to dance in the fort. Okay, well, thank you. I'm going to get one more person. Lily, you had one more time, and then I'm going to let everybody go. Try holding down the space bar, Lily. What's that? There you go. Are you going to be my aide? I am probably too far away to be anybody's aide, but I do hope you get a great one. Who would it be? I don't know. You're going to have to ask your school, and everyone's school is a little bit different. Maybe I'll have a nice that talks smooth and has long hair and she wears and she wears yellow and her name is I wish she be bird okay well I, I hope that for you you have a great afternoon bye bye, bye. Bye. And I'm going to say thank you to everyone for joining us today. We hope to see you tomorrow at the same time for the next adventure in camp. Uh, Leslie or Jessica, what's the theme tomorrow? Jessica? Yes, ma'am. What's the theme tomorrow? I know you had today all wrapped in your head, didn't you? I did. I, did. I, so I thought it was backpack adventure. It is because we're building a backpack. We're packing our backpacks tomorrow. Okay. How could be, we forget? There you go. Be ready for the email. You guys all have a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.